Hi, it's Adrian, and so um, happy holidays. I'm back with the best of 2023, and today we're doing highlighters and some of my favorite sparkly things. And um, I'm actually doing some family stuff today with some of the kids, and some of the kids are uh, little girls who love uh, glitter and sparkle and all things fun. So I thought we'd do an all things sparkly kind of video today and so I guess we'll go ahead and get started with what I have on and then move on to the best highlighters round so uh, to go ahead and get started as far as what I have on for my base and primer today and the glow oil uh, by super goop again SPF 50 and the glow serum primer by hard candy so this is uh, my primer step right here as far as what I have on for my base, I have the T1 um, by the OMA by Sharon C. And with this line, if you're looking at purchasing or repurchasing, I would suggest doing it on Alta's website right now um, because we're not quite sure what's going on with the OMA website. And then as far as what I have on for blush, I had some fun with my blush today. Um, I did go ahead and use the Sunset Strip by ColourPop and then also by ColourPop the Let's Dance and so that's uh, yeah it's a corally color and then I did use a little bit of the Physicians Formula Better Glow and Natural which is a baked one so that's how that looks and so I have all three of these on my face right now and as far as the highlighter that I'm went ahead and you know what we should save for that we should save that so we'll get back there um, as far as what I did for the eyes I um, wanted to go with a really sparkly really Disney kind of princess look today so I went with my Lost in Wonderland by Colourpop and so this is what I have on my eyes today and it's really pretty I like it a lot um, let's see, as far as what I did, I went ahead and put the blue um, in the crease, and then I went ahead and used this one, which is a duochrome, really pretty uh, blue silver duochrome. I did that from here up to here, and then here over to here. So that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and use this one in the outer corner, and then this one is one of their new glitter formulas that just came out this year and so I have that up on the brow bone and um, I did go ahead and use Supernova which is one of their duochromes right across uh, the eye there and a couple of let's see uh, the Emride gel eyeliners to go ahead and do the eyeliner uh, let's see I had and use the Essence 18 hour Wear and the Sky High to go ahead and do the mascara today. And then the Thick and Wow by um, Essence and the Caramel Blonde for the eyebrows. And this is how the eye look came out. So it's very, very shimmery and uh, blue purple. And I used Ember as well. Where did I put that? Um, give me one second, I'll be back with that. Okay, so I'm back. Um, what I actually put on my lid today was the Ember Color Shock by, um, yeah, by ColourPop. And so, Super Shock. Super Shock. So, uh, this is actually what I have on my lid. So, I knew there was something that I was missing there. And um, as far as uh, the rest of it, I did um, go ahead and use, here it is the hard candy uh, glow setting spray so that's uh, what I went ahead and set everything with today and then as far as the highlighters I used um, I used two of my favorites from this year and I'm just gonna show you all my favorites uh, this one was actually 
one that I almost missed, but I'm really glad that I picked it up. And it's the Alice in Wonderland. This is the Wet and Wild collection that they went ahead and did. And so I um, did go ahead and use this highlighter. Um, it has four different shades. And what I usually do is I swirl them all and then swirl them all together and then go ahead and use them. And so that's what I've been using um, for the fall going into winter as well as uh, one of my favorites of all time, the Catrice. This is the Supreme Rose Beam Highlighter. And so it's very pretty. Um, really, if you want that, uh, yeah, it's uh, probably what's giving me the real glow glow right now. And it will glow into the next galaxy. So, yep, it's one of those kind of highlighters. Um, one of the Highlighters that I love that isn't one of the shiny out to the next galaxy highlighters. It's going to be the Essence Pure Nude. Uh, this one and it's 10 Be My Highlight. And um, so this one, as far as an everyday highlight, is really good. Um, some of the other ones that I've been loving this year, the Maybelline Master Chrome. This one's in uh, Molten Peach. And again, hopefully the camera is able to do this without losing it. And so far it's doing fine, so that's good. Um, a couple of newer highlights that came out from the drugstore this year that I've again been uh, using. Another Essence highlighter, but a newer one. It's called The Highlighter. And um, I have mine in Staggering. Is that really? Yeah, that's what it says. Okay. So, yeah, that's what it says. So that's uh, what it is right there. And then the super highlighter from We Love for Evolution, their new line that's over at Walmart. Everything's $5 and under. This is the highlight in rose. And I've really been enjoying this one as well. And then as far as my favorite highlighters, of all time and it just goes to color pop um the flexitarian and this one well you can see i like it there's hardly anything left and it's a glow to the next galaxy kind of highlighter and then uh this one which is seismic by color pop this one actually has some actual glitter in it so you will have some sparkles on your cheek it isn't all glitter but it does have a little bit and so let's go ahead and put it a little bit on here i'll just be really glowy today and that's not a bad thing so yeah uh, like I said, I do glow mist during the holidays and like to see how much glow I can get going. And so, yeah, that's the way that this one works out. And yes, it did take it up a level. So this is Seismic by ColourPop, Flexitarian by ColourPop. Um, I think these are available over at Target and Ulta as well as being on the ColourPop website. Um, but... I, I know that they have highlighters of both Target and Ulta. I'm just not sure if they have these ones. Um, but they're definitely on the ColourPop website. And then, um, oh, the other information. Well, I had one other product here. Um, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in Fair One. Again, another one that I use as a primer and a highlighter. And... Um, just uh, with highlighter, not with highlighter, with glitter, it's actually being phased out of the European Union. And so they're taking 10 years to get rid of glitter because it's made out of plastic and it doesn't biodegrade. And um, I think it's, I understand why they're doing it as an adult. But the kid in me is just like, why are you taking away my glitter? Because I love it and I use it and it makes me happy. And it makes little girls happy and little boys happy. And why, uh, yeah, it's it's a sad state of affairs there. What I'm crossing my fingers for is the development of biodegradable glitter in makeup because I don't want my glitter to go away. So I know that that's 
but it's what's happening and so I thought I'd go ahead and mention it now and yes it's going to be a 10 year process but it's kind of sad and so um, I thought I'd just go ahead and mention it and of course there's always one more thing uh, this is the next what I have on the lips it's a fuchsia and this is one of their butter glasses it's one of the swirly ones and this one's in snow cone if you want to go fuchsia it's definitely a good color <laughs> it's a I mean this is a real color it will it, anybody seeing you will go that's a tropical color and that's fuchsia so um or purple purple 